Hey guys, you're back with Bunky and we're finally looking at some DLC soldiers. Uh, yeah, it took a little longer with this class than any other, but uh, the, the soldier class is awesome. Like, I've built, I've pretty much built every single one of them, apart from like that be Battlefield 3 guy, and uh, even that's got me thinking. Uh, but, you know, let's uh, ignore that, let's crack on, let's look at the Batarian. Um, this guy's awesome, um, he, I really love this one. It took me a while to get round to playing him, to be honest. Uh, but then I just I, I just found something very unique about him. He's really kind of a caster, uh, more than a than a weapons guy. I mean, you can. There's he, he, not a soldier in this game that you can't just gun with. But uh, you, he's a really good caster character, actually. I'll show you how I build that. Uh, ballistic braids. This is awesome. Okay, you do a lot of damage with this. A lot of crowd control. It looks badass. Uh, it's it's a really awesome power. It's not as cool as it used to be because this radius was just ridiculous. It's like you could shoot somewhere into the uh, you know the atmosphere in front of you, and you'd hit the guy behind you. The radius was like 360 degrees. They toned that down a while back, but it uh, it really didn't stop the blades being awesome. To be honest, um, I build them like this. Okay, guys, I go with damage in the first evolution. You can go with cone spread, but I I don't see the need to be honest. Uh, the radius is good already at this point. Um, then I go with the range, okay, uh, recharge speed is again another great evolution, you can go with that, it's going to allow you to rock sort of heavier guns, because uh, you, because all guns do work on this guy, but uh, I do like the range, because oh, it gives me range, okay, I, I can, I don't need to sort of run right up into the enemy's face, I can just, sort, I can, I can take a, I can work a sort of pistol distance, I like to call it, and just sort of hit them with that. Uh, you know, it just works out great for me. But then for the final one, I do like go for the explosive blades. Okay, again, damage and bleed. You can you can build them any way you want. To be perfectly honest, damage and bleed is awesome. You do a lot of uh, damage over time with that, and there's a lot of damage over time with this character. But I just love the explosive blades because it's got uh, it's superior crowd control. Okay, you obviously you stagger them with the with the initial hit, uh, then you do a bunch of damage over time and then they explode and that does more damage staggers them all over again it's just a really great way to just take control of the map so i will recommend explosive blades for the final evolution i put three points into blade armor like i do with my sentinel because uh, the Praetorians have great health, and the blade armor, just at three points, gives them, uh, what is that, that's a 25 uh, damp percent damage reduction. Okay, so you can really take some heavy blows with this guy. Inferno grenades, okay, now this is where the whole damage over time stuff I just spoke about really starts to begin, because you can just do a ton of it with the with the inferno grenades. I build them the same way I do with my Krogan soldier, okay, I go with damage, damage, armor damage, okay, it's... it's Proper overkill, to be honest. You don't need it. You mean you can you can go like radius and radius, and uh, basically you can light up the room with that. But I I I'm not I'm not even interested in playing those games, guys. I just want everything to burn uh, quick, uh, so I don't have to mess around. So I I go with all that damage, and it's great damage. You're doing three hundred and forty one point twenty five damage per second. It's a lot because the, the grenades last for eight seconds once they hit the characters. Okay, uh, and in that respect, I'm actually going to uh, you know suggest you build him like a power guy. Go with damage and capacity and power damage. Okay, we're going to just do a load, a load of damage over time. And then for the fitness, I don't melee. Uh, it's a cool melee, but I don't do it. I just that's, <laughs> to put it bluntly, guys, I I prefer to just tank it out there. So I go with durability, shield recharge, and fitness expert. And look at that now. We got one thousand four hundred and twenty-five health and shields. Okay, he, they are heavy guys. Okay, the Batarians. Um, for the weapon, I'm going to be rocking the Growl Spike Thrower. Okay, this uh, literally what we're bringing to the game is spikes, blood, and fire. <laughs> and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an ugly game, but my God, is it cool! So I'm going to be putting that on. I'm going to be rocking the high caliber barrel. It's pointless going with any of the piercing stuff because it doesn't work. The Growl's a projectile weapon. Um, however, the projectiles are really long, actually, so you can actually shoot straight through guardian shields just because they protrude uh, through certain thick uh, objects. 
and uh, you know, so you don't have to worry about the piercing in that respect. It also, with all, as I've said before, but I'm going to make sure it's clear, you don't need to worry about armor mitigation or any of the damage reduction that the armor health bars do because projectile weapons aren't subject to that. They always do maximum damage when they hit. So just take the high caliber barrel, say so you're doing 25% more damage, and I do go with the uh, smart choke then to increase the accuracy. You can go with uh, like a bigger clip if you want, but I, the grass quite inaccurate and it's um it's really inaccurate actually off host all projectile weapons are because they there is actually something traveling from a to b or for, between you and the enemy it just does miss when there's a you know uh, when the information needs to be fed across the world you know across the internet and all that kind of business but the growl is cool i'll get more into that in the gameplay uh, okay, for equipment, let's, uh, let's get this done. For the ammo bonus, I'm going to be rocking in Sindri and really piring, piling on the flames, uh, getting hot, uh, doing some really nice damage over time, take a high in Sindri, three, four, uh, two if you're stingy or you or if you're like me, <laughs> to be fair guys, and you just don't have that much good stuff, go ahead and just do that, but it is just piling on the damage over time there. Uh, for the armor bonus, I am going with the power amplifier. I'm going to be taking a nice, juicy power amplifier for so that we're just going to do so much damage with those uh, in Sindri, uh, Inferno grenades. Sorry, we're going to do a ton of damage with that. Uh, for the gear bonus, uh, we can't do that damage without grenades, so I'm taking the grenade capacity. That's going to be fundamental. So I'm going to be rocking that, and obviously the weapon bonus. I'm going to be sticking on a shotgun rail amp to help with the growl there. That's us done, though, guys. Okay, let's jump into the gameplay and let's show you what. I got. Okay, so it's me, Dom, and Tech again. Uh, unknown, unknown gold. Uh, pretty sure that's the uh, same pug from the last video. <laughs> so it's all. I think this is. It was just like a follow-up game. Actually, I was. I, I was finally getting equipment from the store that was uh, holding up these videos for so long, and I was just like, yes. I, I, I was like, I was going, yes. Cyclonic Four, I can do the Fury. Yes, Shotgun Rail Lamp Three, I can do the Batarian. And so this, like, you'll, I think most of these uh, next few videos are actually done in succession. Um, so there, let's go ahead and jump into that. I'll be honest with you, though, guys, I am not a happy bunny. Uh, <laughs> I, I did a Batarian uh, soldier video before. I actually had a shotgun rail amp, and I did that. And I was recording on a slightly different um, setting, and it basically it makes the it gives, it records better image, uh, to be honest, but it completely fucked up. It gets really busy uh, when you're playing the Batarian Soldier, and you're going to see that. And it was too much, apparently. Uh, the video file just sort of lags up, freezes, and uh, it goes completely out of sync. Had to do it again. So this is like a repeat one. The first one was against the Collectors, and I just wrecked them. But now I'm going to wreck the Reapers, the baby Collectors. Poor them. But this is how it goes, guys. Literally just throw grenades, hit them with the ballistic blades, and shoot. And then watch them drop. In fact, you don't even need to watch. Just get out of dodge. Literally throw two grenades. You see a group, throw in two grenades, hit them with the spikes, put a couple, of, put, shoot them with the growl spiker, and leave. <laughs> and then watch the kill feed, because uh, that's the job done, to be honest, guys. Uh, that will clear a room. It's like if you've got somebody following you around, it's like uh, another caster, um, they're pretty much just going to do fire explosions for you. You know, because the, the Inferno grenades just set up fire explosions all over. But you can just literally run around the map, just throwing your grenades, uh, and just keeping the enemy off you with ballistic blades and your growl spike thrower. <laughs> that's a rinse and repeat. Um, it's like if I, take, if I encounter one one enemy, I'll just use the, the growl spike throwing the ballistic blades, so that's going to get the job done. But as soon as I see a group, I throw in two. I throw in two grenades, and uh, that's the sequence then. If I see, uh, also, if I encounter one of the boss enemies, uh, like the Banshees, Brutes and stuff, they're getting hit with two grenades as well, and uh, they're getting the whole sequence there. Now, if the, if the boss enemy is mixed up with a group, then I might, I'll push for three. I'll push for three grenades, and I'll throw three in there and set and do the damage that way, because it all stacks. That's what's great about, well, it's overpowered about the Inferno grenades, to be honest. And I can say that now, because nothing's going to change anymore. There are no more balance changes, guys. It's sad to say, but uh, it means uh, everything I tell you now is the truth. <laughs> Nothing, Nothing's going to change anything. So look at that. That was dummy through in a frag grenade. Uh, he got the frag grenade kills, yeah, but the fire explosion just wrecked them super quick. Oh yeah, see the brute gets two grenades, and the groups get two grenades, bosses with groups get three grenades. On platinum might even push for four, but uh, three should be enough. <laughs> That's enough damage per second to be honest guys. Uh, 
Because what is it? Uh, two grenades is around, it's over 600 damage per second. So if, and when you push for three, you're doing over 900 damage per second. So yeah, stuff dies. You don't need to worry about it too much. And that's pretty much it, guys. Look, uh, <laughs> just grenade, grenade, ballistic blade, growl spike thrower, move on. <laughs> Watch the kill feed. <laughs> so that, the, the, he's pretty cool for that, the Batarian. Um, I mean, I, normally I, I like to see the action uh, and rather, rather than just do this uh, sort of damage over time. But there is feedback in this, so in this, uh, in the in his powers. Uh, sorry, got the word out eventually. Because um, you know the, the the ballistic blades that she just sort of smashes them back. The inferno grenades have them all writhing in uh, like pain and then obviously the blades explode and they all just bounce off there's there is a ton of feedback there's a lot of action uh, in this build it's a lot of fun um the growl is uh, the growl does a lot of damage okay i don't just pick the growl just because i went through the theme uh, the growl does do a, it does hit pretty hard especially if you charge it up and i do Actually, I charge up the growl and just sort of... I charge up the growl and then I throw the grenades and stuff and then I just release the shot from the growl. I shoot it from the hip for the most part, actually. You can obviously just aim it in like the claymore. Uh, that can, you know, um, but you can you actually it's easier to connect if you just shoot it from the hip. To be honest, guys, and uh, I'm working, I'm playing him less of a weapon character, more of a caster. So I do, I just blast the thing from my hip. Um, but it, I, I pick the growl mainly. Because it's a good balance of damage and crowd control, okay? Um, although he, uh, oh, the Batarians have got this great feature where they actually have extra ammo. Uh, you know, they they got a larger clip than everybody else, so you can really gun with this guy. You absolutely can. And as a soldier, he just does a lot of damage in general, and, and he can take a lot of damage as a Batarian with blade armor. So, you know, you can go with things like the Claymore and just, you know, uh, rather than relying on that damage over time, literally just hit hard with that. You can go with the Piranha. You can shoot that thing from the hip and just sort of, that's going to help you just chew for the bosses. I mean, imagine that Inferno Grenades and Piranha just plowing in. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Raider again, like the Claymore, just hit hard. Wraith. Um, and, and it is a good idea to actually stay kind of light with this guy, to be honest. I do recommend you do. Um, so you can rock the Ballistic Blades. They are an important part in uh, just... Keeping the enemy off you, you know, just uh, and and doing a lot of damage. Uh, so you do want to be able to sort of use the ballistic blades with like every kind of enemy you encounter. So you don't want a long recharge speed on that. Um, that's why you can obviously go with the Geth plasma shot ones are amazing as well, guys. That's great crowd control and a lot of damage. The only problem, a reason I pick, don't pick that over the Grell is actually because it does uh, it doesn't really have the damage against armor that the Grell has. Grell's got really nice uh, armor damage. But you know, he, like I like I said earlier, though he's got this, he's got the whole spare ammo thing. You, he is a soldier. You can gun. You can go for you know damage over time. It's uh, damage per second. Sorry, um, God. Let's make a drinking game, okay? You drink every t start again, okay? Hit the <laughs> literally just go back to the beginning and drink every time I say damage over time in this video. Um, if you need a new liver, it's, uh, I, I take no responsibility in that. But you know you can go with things like the uh, the hurricane SMG because it just you obviously you can just run around shooting that thing from the hip. It's a caster gun, let's be honest. So it's, it all sort of gels. But you're going to be doing a ton of weapon damage in that as well. And plus, there's the power magnifier now, isn't there, guys? You can stick that on there and go the high um, high velocity barrel and the power and the power magnifier. Mm, good damage there. So you can do that. You can obviously rock the tempest. You've got something like the hurricane. Um, but you can just gun hard, like, you really can. I mean, the Harriers are amazing on Batarians because, you know, the Harrier's main drawback is its small clip and he just makes it bigger. So there's that sorted. I mean, you, a Harrier of the Lancer, you can just go ahead and do that. Um, that's probably what I'd recommend for Platinum, actually, because you probably want to do more weapon damage because the boss, there's just more bosses and you just you need to whittle down bigger health bars. So, yeah, but but in the interest of fun, <laughs> okay, I'm going to recommend more crowd control. Just stagger the enemy and let them writhe in pain, okay? Go with the, uh, the Adus uh, anti-synthetic rifle, the Striker assault rifle, the, the Falcon, okay? It's just about, it's all about stopping power. Leave them to burn and bleed. <laughs> We're Batarians. It's not about being being nice okay <laughs> i mean there's uh, there's pistols too okay there's a lot of stopping power to be, you can get in the pistols uh, like you can rock the talon the scorpion the acolytes an incredible sidearm guys okay because we can do a lot of damage to armor it's in the inferno grenades it's a whole evolution based on it so if you've got the acolyte you can just, just strip uh shields and just really wreck the armor then um 
I don't recommend sniping with this guy. Uh, just you know, you can see how I'm playing. But if you, but you know, you can because you've got ballistic blades. You can just stagger them, and then you've got an easy shot to uh, line up there. So the widows are great. Black widow, the normal widow, the valiant uh, mantis, javelin, key shot. You know, you can just hit hard with a sniper rifle if you really wanted to. But I don't recommend it. Um, obviously, I'm. Uh, I'm rocking the incendiary ammo, just piling on the damage over time there, drink again. Uh, but you can go with cryo, okay, so you can sort of just weaken the targets so that your inferno grenades and the damage over time... <laughs> no, sorry, uh, you, can, uh, you can just do more damage over time. Got you twice uh, with, uh, with the cryo ammo and stuff like that. Um, you can, if you just really want to, you know, just do some heavy firepower, like back with a black and platinum mode again, just stick on your armor piercing rounds or your drill rounds and stuff like that and rock the Harrier, to be honest, guys, or something, or the Piranha. Um, yeah, you can do that. Now, for the armor bonuses, I'm rocking the power amplifier because I am, I'm a caster, guys. You can see me in action here. Uh, so, you know, I'm just doing a lot of damage over time. Uh, but, you know, you can you can tank with a uh, you can with a Praetorian. A Batarian, you can really tank with them. So you just stick the Cyclonic Modulator and get ridiculous shields. Shield power cells all good as well because you're they're staggering the enemy constantly. They're not going to put up enough firepower, so our shields are going to regenerate super quick doing that. And you know Batarians can't dodge while they've got no evasive moves. So um, sh things like the Adrenaline Module is always good on them too for survivability. I'm rocking the uh, grenade capacity uh, for the gear, obviously. I mean, I've already explained right at the beginning how fundamental the grenades are. We're checking out two, like, everywhere we go at the, at the least. Um, I mean, I really do recommend that for your gear if you're going to play it this way. Um, you know, at the very minimum, go with, like, the Shock Trooper upgrade or, like, the Warfighter package. Um, y you could, I mean, uh, you can even go with stuff like the, the extra thermal clip gears. So you've got, like, things like, what is there? There's the Assault Loadout, so that's a increased weapon damage and an extra thermal clips if I remember correctly there's thermal clip storage so that is just extra thermal clips and um, but you know you can you can make up for the the number that you attack in by just how hard your attack actually hits so you can go with things like the engineering kit and the mental focuser um, omni capacitors uh, they'll save your life actually because you know that's going to increase your recharge speed to let you do ballistic blades stagger the enemy all that kind of good stuff and then there's always the weapon and shield options guys you can just go uh, rock the necessary weapon amp or take the shield boosters strong old packages all that kind of stuff and tank and just gun down with him you can do that with any soldier um, this is something I'm going to show you that you can do with the Batarian and it's really cool actually you can you don't even need to watch you don't need to see a single enemy die guys you can just sort of run around the map just planting uh, grenades. It's like your, your teammates are just going to set up fire detonate fire explosions for you and the damage over time <laughs> that you're you're just putting all over the map, but you're just going to watch the kill fee just d tick over. It, you, it's crazy damage, and it is fun actually, guys. It's it's a, quite a wild game just running around doing this. I mean, uh, the Batarians do have an awesome melee, and you, I, I I'll only sort of melee for shiggles to be honest. Uh, <laughs> that, it's the only reason I do it, just because. Uh, the damage you can do with his uh, weapons and his powers is just always going to... It's just its just a reality, guys. As cool as melee builds are and stuff, the uh, you know damage per second, which you just don't get with melee builds, is just you're always going to be better in a game about whittling down health bars. Um, so I, I really... Uh, the only time you'll really see me uh, melee strategically is actually to survive a bad situation. Um, sometimes they're like Cerberus and you, you find yourself uh, cornered by a turret and it, you know it's going to open fire. Do your heavy melee because there's incredible damage. There's like a 100% damage reduction when you're in his heavy melee and you can survive doing that, especially when you've got the blade armor on your back there as well. Um, and this is me doing it for shiggles and look what it did to me. Got uh, got face humped by the husk, but look, I'm gonna survive it uh, because I hit him with the ballistic blade, so he got staggered and then they exploded. So I was able to just wrestle the husk off and turn around and wreck him, and you know all the incredible health and damage reduction I have from the blade armor. It's just good stuff. 
And, you know, uh, because I've gone with range on the Ballistic Blades as well, it's, uh, when I'm dealing with things like the Banshees, or, you know, sometimes I, I can picture Geth situations, actually, where, you know, if you just run into that room, they're just going to st stun lock you and dead you so quickly. Uh, you can you can hold your back, and you can help with uploads and stuff like that. You can just keep enemies just off their feet constantly and just pile in the damage over time. <laughs> it's just, uh, you, he's, he is a cool character. I really, I don't know what took me so long to build him, actually. I think I was uh, convinced that um, he didn't uh, bring a lot he didn't bring any sort of unique mechanics to the game I mean Ballista there's nothing wrong with his powers I always knew that uh, but I just figured oh staggering with Ballistic Blades is just like staggering with any power and uh, then it's just stagger shoot stagger shoot stagger shoot and then I just realised hang on I can rock like a crazy caster build of this guy and this is it guys this is how I love to play the Batarian Soldier Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and pile on some apologies, guys, because it was there was a real drought in my videos. Um, it wasn't just I'll be honest. I mean, it didn't help that I just couldn't get what I needed from the store to put together a good video for you. Um, but it's just, I, there was obviously family. That, it's it's Easter. Uh, it's, it's it's the Easter weekend, so uh, you know there was family, and there was stuff I was doing for the family as well. That's gonna happen, guys. Okay, I do. I got this thing called a life. It gets in the way of uh, games sometimes. <laughs> but I, I'll be honest, guys. I, I haven't. Uh, I haven't heard any complaints uh, from you guys. Uh, there's um, a lot of support. I do love to hear it. Um, I'm glad you're enjoying uh, what I'm doing here, and I'm, I hope I can keep you interested. <laughs> Because these are the last days, guys. There's a, a, it's like Bioware have pulled out. Like they're not doing. Um, there's no new content ever coming out now, and they're not. There's no more weekend challenges. There's no. Uh, there's no more. Um, there's no more balance changes. Okay, this is the game. Is the game now? Uh, so we we make our own fun, and I'm hopefully I can show you uh, really how to. Because okay, this is what I want to push for the uh, this series, guys. I want to show show you how to create as many different experiences as you can with the characters in the game. Okay, I'll I'll always tell you. Um, how to like put together the the strongest build for every character? Okay, I I, I will, but fundamentally, I'm always going to kind of push what I'm doing on you guys because um, if I ever feel like oh you can just go put a harrier on everyone and shoot everything, you can. Okay, you have something you can absolutely do, but then that's your ex that's going to be like the one experience shared between. I don't even know how many kits we got now. You don't need to do that. These characters have got different powers, different mechanics, different abilities. I'm going to show you how to rock them all, do different things. And so that, you know, you can pick up the game and do something completely different from your last mission. Okay, this is... Um and it's not, and, 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 and it's never about gimping yourself either, guys. I don't, I don't make builds that are weak. I, I don't, because if I, if I, if I'm ineffective, I, I don't have fun. Okay, I, I, I'm never, I'm not happy being the support guy. You know, I, I, I'm not. I, I still am always very offensive and doing a lot of damage out on the battlefield, but I'll do it differently. There's always different ways to get it to get it out, and uh, that's what I'm going to try and show you. Okay, so this is this is my caster Batarian soldier. You feel free to stick a harrier on him, and just run around ballistic blading and shooting everything, and just throwing inferno grenades at bosses. You know that uh, that's probably the most effective way to play him. To be perfectly honest, just a good gun, stagger shoot and burn bosses. Uh, but this is just a way to just like just do create just set the world on fire with the, with the Batarian soldier. So yeah, that's uh, that's that's where I'm that's where I'm heading with the with the video guy series, you guys. It's just about showing you how to get some really strong experiences, uh, as many as possible from the game. That's why there's a lot of characters I just don't play. I I don't because I can't uh, do anything different with them that I can't already do with somebody else. Um, I mean, something that's going to be coming out shortly. I just showed you the Fury, and I will be showing you the Valkyrie. Okay. Um, I'm not going to get too much into it now, but those guys, those two are like identical. But I found a way to just play her differently from the Fury, and that was that was fundamental for me. I mean, I'm going to tell you how to make her the strongest character she can be, but I'm going to show you how to play her completely differently, and it's still it's it's strong, guys. Uh, you're going to see that. Uh. Because there is, there is, at the end of the day, guys, there's a lot of fun to be had with this game. That's what's kept me going for, like, the year that it's been out now. Uh, so, 
Because you can. You can just pick up a different kit and play it different and play the game differently. Because that's what Mass Effect is. I mean, I'm to get my, I don't mean to get all poet, poetic on you or anything, but at the end of the day, Mass Effect has always been about creating your own experience. And uh, this is what I'm going to try and show you how to do. Okay, um, Even if I, I don't play a character and you want to play that character, um, from what I sh should be able to show you through the, entire, through the whole series is how to play every single power. And then you can go ahead and mix and match what I've done, okay? Like with the Fortune Hunter, okay? I don't play him. He's, uh, I got the Spartarian Sentinel. Uh, the, the mechanics will never be that different, okay? You, you run around, you submissive net, uh, and then you incinerate, you get tech bursts, and, you know, it's the same thing, but Shockwave does it better, the Batarian takes more hits. I prefer to just do that thing with the Batarian, but, you know, if you if you love Forges or you want to rock Bloodlust, I mean, just do it. You can check out my Vulture Sentinel video. I'll show you how to build a power. That's a, that's a power Vulture there. It's not a weapon Vulture. That's a power Vulture, my Vulture Sentinel. And then you can look at the Batarian Sentinel video and see how to rock... Um, how to rock... Uh, submissive net, and uh, you can rock pretty much any of my, in <laughs> my engineers and see how to do... how to build an, an effective incinerate. And, you know, that's, that's it, guys. Like, you can, uh, hopefully, that's what the series is going to show you, how to get, get as many experiences out you can and play anybody. You don't need me to, like, hold your hand through every single kit in the game. Um, I mean, I don't f feel like... If you really are stumped, if, I mean, if, if, I, if I've shown you everything and you're still really not entirely sure how you would approach to playing a kit that I'm not going to do, and you really want me to do a video on it, you know, go ahead, uh, you post a comment and you can ask for it. Um, I can be persuaded, guys. I, I, I can. <laughs> uh, so, you know, if you really want to see me, for instance, I don't play the Volus Mercenary, uh, but I play every single other Volus, and I do like the Voluses. They're funny. <laughs> they're a lot of fun, actually. And they're not just support characters. I refuse to just accept that uh, stigma. Um, I'll, I'll show you how to I'll show you how to rock the Volus Mercenary, but uh, like again, I would say if you want to know how to play the Volus Mercenary, just watch one of my other Voluses and then check out like the um, the human engineer, the vanilla human engineer, because that's uh, how you put him together. To be honest, guys. But of course, I haven't done any Volus videos yet um, in my next uh, cycle, because this is what I'm trying to do, guys. I'm trying to make sure that you get like you, I'm not going to just bombard you with like uh, infiltrator videos or adept videos. I'm, I'm going through. I'm playing a character each class. Uh, that's why there was a big holdup, to be honest. I had like these videos recorded before I had the shadow done. Okay, and I, I just held on to them um, uh, so that I could just show you the infiltrator, and then I'll show you another vanguard, and then I'll show you an adept. And in the next cycle, I'm going to be rocking the uh, the Volus adept. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to play him. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's all going to come out, guys. It is all going to come out. <laughs> I guess I'll be finally uh, cracked into the, uh, the the DLC for the soldiers now. I think uh, I think I'm through with all the starter characters now, and we're just showing you DLC content. This is resurgence for soldiers. Uh, I'm already doing like Earth, and I think I've started retaliation uh, already with some with some of the classes. You're definitely going to see retaliation in this uh, like sequence because I'm going to be rocking the uh, sorry Falkyrie. But then yeah, I'm just going to make sure that her damage over time is not going to get beat mine. Do the heavy melee, and that's going to wrap up the game there. Also, guys, uh, don't feel, uh, f don't feel, no, f do feel free to just, like, uh, if you've got any questions on what I've said um, or what I've shown you, because I, it, obviously I'm trying to, like, s give you all the information I can and sort of pad out uh, the, the gaps and stuff. And if I it skimmed over something, you feel you need more detail and ask questions, guys, I'll answer them. Um, I will. I will answer. I'll try to answer them all. And uh, I think that wraps us up here, though, guys. So I'm going to just leave you with the scores. Um, keep, keep up the support, guys. I love it. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves now.